Let us look at the first section of link operations, namely filtering items. In the filtering items, as you can see, has two set of operations. They are where and off type. The where operation selects items that match the conditions. We have seen some examples of this in the past few videos. So this is supported by both query as well as the method syntax. In the case of query syntax, the keyword is where, all small, whereas in the case of method syntax, it's again where, but with a capital W. So let us go ahead and see an example in Visual Studio Code. Here in the Visual Studio Code, I am in section 04, link to objects. We had created the cms.ui.models in the previous video. Let us go ahead and create a console application for each of the sections which we are going to see in the link operators. Let's right click the folder and create a new folder and name it as link filtering. Right click, open an integrated terminal. Let's create a console application, .NET new console. So this is going to create a console application. Once this is created, we will add the reference of cms.ui.models library to this console application so that we have the reference of student's type. So once this is done, if we open the link filtering, we have our program.cs. Now let's go and add the reference of cms.ui.models to this console application. So for this, we use .NET add reference dot dot slash cms.ui.model slash cms.ui.cs project. Okay. So they added the reference as we can see here. Now our project is ready to start the console application and then writing our filtering queries. Let's close the terminal. Let's delete it. In order to explain the filtering capability of link, we will define a new type called a list of students. For the list of students, we will see how we can apply the filtering operator, namely the where for the both query and method syntax. Let us declare the variable as list of student the name being students equals new list of student. In our main method, let's call a initialize function to create the list of students. Let's first write the function. Okay, let's make it static. Void initialize. In this initialize function, we will create a list of students and add to this collection. So before this, we have got a couple of errors. This is because we have not added the namespace for the list. Let's add the namespace. Similarly for the student, let's add the namespace for cms.ui.models. Okay, now we are good to go. Let us now go ahead and create multiple student instances and add to this student's collection. Students.add new student followed by the list of student ID, first name and last name. So we'll give the student ID as 101, name as first name is James last name Smith. So let's copy this students.add student 102 Robert Smith. So we get certain error. Object reference is required for the non-static field. Let's go and make this static because we have created the method as static so that I can trigger it in the static main function. So we have to mark it as static. So here I have created uh, two names. I'm going to fast forward this video so that I can create all the student instances quicker. All right, here I am done with creating all the instances and I have added to the student collection. So basically we have almost eight instances. Now let us go ahead and see how we can use the filtering operators in link. Let us first go with the query syntax. So I enumerable, our type is student and our query being from student in students. Let's say we want to filter these set of students whose last name is Smith. So for from student in students where, so where is a symbol where we can use to filter the items where student dot. Okay. We don't get the list of properties available. The reason should be we have not added the namespace. Let's go on array system.link. Now it should be available. Student dot. Okay. Last name equals Smith. I am not checking for a case sensitivity here. It's okay for this example. 
So this is a simple way of writing a var. Again, we have missed something. Okay, the mandatory select statement, select student. So you saw that it was giving an error because select is a mandatory in case of query syntax. So here we are done with the first syntax from student in students. We are looping through each instance of a student and then we compare using the last name where and this is a condition. If we require, you can add multiple conditions here. So for now, let's stick with single condition student.lastname.equalsmith student. We can go ahead and print this value for each. In our case, the type of where is student item in collection query console.write line. Let's print the first name and the last name together. So we use student sorry item dot first name followed by item dot last name before we start executing this function we need to call the initialize so let's call the initialize method in the main function so it first we initialize the set of student instances and then we run the query syntax let's go to the terminal and run this program so what we are expecting is it should print the list of students whose last name is Smith. Okay, so here we have the result. As expected, it has printed all the names which has ended with Smith. Now let us go ahead and see how we can write the same using the method syntax. We need to start with writing the query. So again, it's going to be I enumerable of student method query equals for method syntax, we will start first with the variable students followed by the symbol or the keyword in our case. For the filtering, we have to use the keyword where. So where student, the lambda expression student dot last name equals Smith. So this completes the query for the method syntax. Note that we have not written the select because it's optional in case of method syntax. In case you need to enter the select, you can give it in this manner. Dot select student followed by the student. Because we are not going to change the return type in this query. Whatever we are going to filter, we are returning the same type as available in the initial variable. If you want, you can change the different types which you can return from the select statement. That is known as projection, which we are going to see in the next lecture. So for now, we just return the same type. Finally, let's go and print these values for each. Again, student item in method query. Let's go and copy the console.write line statement from the previous query. Console.write line, first name and last name. Let us add a couple of console.write line so that we know which one refers to query syntax and which one to the method syntax console.write line method syntax. Let's copy this and use it for the query syntax. Okay, so we have completed step, step two and three. Let's go ahead and run this application now. Let's clear the window .NET run. So this time the output should be similar for both the query as well as the method syntax. So here we first have the query syntax output, which requires basically returns James Smith, Robert, David, Mary Smith. The same set of output is written by the method syntax as well. So to summarize, in order to filter using the link queries, we use the where keyword for both query and the method syntax. Next, let us look at the second type of operation for filtering, the name being off type. This is used to select items according to their ability to the cast to the specific type, which basically means that in the case of inheritance, we can have base class, derived class and multiple levels. In such cases, you can use this operator in order to filter as per your type. For example, we had a student type. Let us say we have engineering student as one of the derived type and another type being medical student. Suppose if you have a collection of students and you want to filter only the engineering students. In such case, you can use this off type operator to filter these items. Let us check this using our example. 
First, let us move all this code to a separate function so that we know that this has been written for a var. So we have static void link var. Okay, so we can go ahead and minimize this. Let us write another function so that we can see the second type, namely of type. Static void link of type. So we will call this function from the main. So as we saw before, we have only the student type defined here. So let's go to the cms.models. So here we have defined only student. Let's go on and create two classes. One is engineering student and another type being medical student. Let's go on and create our first class, public class engineering student. This derives from our student class. Let's go ahead and initialize the constructor using the shortcuts. We'll use generate constructor. So this basically has created a default constructor that derives from the base class. This is good enough for us to explain the usage of off type. Similarly, let's go ahead and create medical student. Derives from again student. Let's again use the shortcut generate constructor medical student so again this has generated a base method for us we are done with creating the two derived classes engineering student and medical student let's go back to our program.cs initially we had created all these eight different students of the same type student now let us go on and change them to one of either engineering or the medical student engineering student let's say we want to change the initial set of students as engineering and some in the middle and the remaining students as medical student. Medical student. Okay, so here we have some as engineering and some as medical. So what happens if I need to filter and I want only the engineering students? In such case, we can use the off type. Let us now go ahead and implement the link off type function. So link of type, the first step is to write the query I enumerable. We want only engineering students. So the type I'm going to use is engineering student and say engineering students equals. Remember that the of type operator is available only in the case of method syntax. It's not applicable in the case of query syntax. So the only choice we have is to use the method syntax students dot of type. As you can see from the documentation, it tells that the off type filters the elements of an I enumerable collection based on a specific type. So we need to pass the type in order to filter. So the format being, we need to pass it as like a generic. So off type engineering student. Note the place at which we are giving the type. So off type followed by like a generic, we need to pass the type of the variable. So here we are filtering for each of the students. We'll check whether it's an engineering student. If so, then it is going to return it to this query. Let's go on and print this for each engineering student item in collection engineering students. Let's go on and print console item dot first name. followed by item dot last name. Let's go to our console and run it. So we have all the initialize. We have called the link of type function. Here we have filtered as per the engineering student and we have printed it. So what we are basically expecting is it has to print James, Robert, Maria, and finally John. Let's go to the console, clear it up, dot net run. So as expected, we have filtered the list of names and it matches the only the engineering students, James, Robert, Maria, and John. So James, Robert, Maria, and John. So this example showed the way how to use the off type in the case of method syntax in order to filter the types that had taken part in inheritance.